Okie doke. So final question for this week is from an INFP. I am a member of professional development group and struggle to access my adult self, the ethicist, during our meetings. It's like something switches in me and my three-year-old inner child executive takes over. This makes sense to me because of the group culture, but it leaves me feeling icky afterwards. How can I keep my adult self firmly in the forefront in the future meetings and workshops? This is a great question. And I want to highlight this piece in it where you feel like your three-year-old executive is taking over. And this is true. It's absolutely, this is real hashtag INFP struggles. Because, you know, you're in a, you're in a, a, a group of people which already is outward-facing uh, activities. And as, an, as, as that, your outward-facing parts of you is, are more easily activated. So you're looking at your pioneer inner parent, outward intuition, and your three-year-old inner child, the executive, of course, the outward thinking. So what I see happening with that is that these outward-facing parts of you take over. Uh, you've specifically identified the three-year-old inner child, which is great. Great identification. Well done. And what, I, what, what it looks like to me is what, what's happening is that the inward-facing parts of you get, get kind of left behind. And so these outward-facing parts of you get really activated. And the inward-facing parts almost like fall off. And the outward-facing parts of you start to take you into a direction that the inward-facing parts of you are not a part of. And so there's like a, this disjointedness that happens between the different parts of you, the outward and inward facing parts of you. And, and that's why you can kind of feel like you're losing yourself, if that makes sense. So when that happens, uh, we stop doing the, the kind of the, we stop bringing our full selves into the picture because we're disjointed. Two parts are engaged, two parts are not. So now we can kind of feel like the adult self is, is left behind and, and our authentic, we're not bringing our authentic self to this, these situations. And what I recommend that you do in order to start practicing bringing the inward facing parts of you into these situations is before the meeting, when you get the agenda, and if you don't get the agenda, ask for it. And if you, if you are the one in charge of the agenda, create an agenda. And then for the, all the, items on the agenda for the meeting or for the workshop, put little bullet points of your own authentic thoughts. So your own, you know, parts of you that are really important to you and that are a, a real deep expression of who you are as a person. When you do that, when you do this kind of bullet points of your own thoughts under each of the agenda item, that prompts you into introspection a little bit throughout the meeting because you, you keep referring back to uh, what you've written, what you know your point of view is. So that's a very practical way of doing that. Now, how can we do it on, so let's zoom out, how can we do it, this on a, on a macro scale? So how can we take this piece and, uh, and um, kind of build it into our everyday lives outside of meetings and workshops that don't have agendas because life happens without an agenda often. <laughs> and one way of doing it is to, when something is being presented to you and you, ha you get this outward facing thinking urge to say yes to it, just say, leave it with me for a little bit. I'll get back to you on that. So leave it with me. And what that will do is it's going to just slow the process down a little bit and give you some space to go back into introspection around it and then bring a better suggestion to the forefront. So you were asking, you know, how can I keep my adult self firmly in the forefront in, this, in, in future meetings and workshops? And I would say in life too, learn to pause, learn to put in little pieces of uh, pauses like your bullet points for the agenda or you know when some when you feel that urge to jump into action that is discarding your perspective on it just say hey i'll get back to you on that 
And that's the way you do that. That's been the most effective way of, of that I've found for myself and for my other INFP clients, especially ones who are in business. Okay. I am so happy to have been here with you today. Thank you, everyone who attended. It's been fantastic for me. And also, just to let you know that the four people within, we're going to have a launch party for the four people within course when it comes out. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be in um, in August, and I will be uh, confirming the start date for that. And it is very exciting. We're going to do some some special offers. We also have a giveaway planned for it. It's a it's a uh, full piece on the boundaries that is actually included in the four people within a uh, course, the boundaries section. So that'll be about 40 minutes recording with homework, with exercises. So anybody who joins our, um, our um, launch party for the four people within course will automatically get that piece of the course. So I'm super excited to be presenting it all to you. And yeah, I hope you can make it. And in regards to these Facebook Lives, we're going to probably go into running them once a month from now on. And because we're not getting people attending live. So um, I don't, you know, I, while I love doing these, um, these um, videos, and that's great, it just doesn't, uh, it's not justified to, to have it in my schedule for um, every week when uh, the kind of the interaction is not there uh, at that level. So thank you everyone who has attended live today. Uh, thank you everyone who have attended live before. It is very meaningful for me. Thank you. And yeah, I will talk real soon. Okay. You take care of yourself. Have a great week.